guys, I'm so super sorry about that, but I had to um, end the video and and tend to Chloe. But I'm back again, and again, this is page four. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but can you see that there? And can you see that there? I actually um, cut out these butterflies and did some fussy cutting, and I adhered them to give them some dimension. But little Miss Chloe got her hands on it somehow. I don't know when, but I just... Um, came back into my room and I seen like the butterfly wings in pieces <laughs> on my carpet so um, I'll have to go back and, and do it again but I just wanted to like I said to give it some dimension um, this here is an AccuCut frame and um, like I said in this second kit which is the full kit I guess you could say um, you will receive these die cuts um, also with the um, I'll also cut some of the paper line for the die cuts to cover it. But I just covered it with the paper, distressed it with the acrylic paint, added some um, I Am Roses flowers, and this is a Prima flower. And um, in the kits that I'll have, in the full kits, I will just have two full kits in which you'll receive everything that I used on this album. And guys, this flower here um, is sold out, and I believe even Prima is sold out. So um, if you want, I mean, if you want it and if you're like me where you absolutely have to have like whatever the person you use, then um, you might want to hurry and get those kits. I will be doing, I mean, once those two kits sell, um, I will be doing a pre-sale of more kits, but there's just certain things that won't be included because um, I couldn't get them any longer. So I did have some substitutions. So just to let you guys know, there will be only two full kits available. This is the next page. And I had such a difficult time on this page. Like, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. And I just felt like I totally ran out of ideas. But this is another one of the die cuts. Um, and I used the, the, I guess, the cuts from the cover. The intricate, like, design. I, I used that to give this um, some... A little more fanciness I guess you could say this is some sprays I used as its antenna this is a prima flower this piece here which is the body I covered with some lace and then I just put this um, flower on but where did I put that piece okay Ouch. Um, the way that I adhered oh my goodness the way that I adhered the butterfly Again, um, this butter this butterfly, I just um, adhered it down the middle. So you can totally, I don't know why you would want to, but if you wanted to like stick something on this side or on behind here, you totally could. I also, um, sorry, let me grab something. I also adhered this body only over here and over here. So if you wanted to like stick in some little pictures under here, like little tiny pictures, you could. This I just put some lace here, but I, I glued it on as a pocket so you can totally stick stuff in under this one and um, also under here. You could stick some photos, I thought, or some tags. This is the next page and um, this can totally come out. You can put a picture. Um, I figured you could put a picture and a message in here and then stick that in. Um, this I tried to keep with the doily theme because it had doilies on this paper. So I just put some um, doilies. This is just some doilies. I don't know from where. Um, but this is... Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Hold on. This is this die right here. And I'll totally, I believe it's a cheek, let me see. It is this die right here by Cherry, Cherry Lynn Designs. But guys, this die and the MFT die is totally the same. So I have like two of these dies. Um, if anybody is interested in purchasing one of them from me, um, let me know because... Um, I didn't know that they were the same dies. I thought that MFT, which is my favorite things, I thought those were like their custom dies, but I guess um, this one isn't because it's absolutely the same. <laughs> 
And then more uh, Martha Stewart butterflies. This is the next page. And again, um, this is a Sizzix die. And in the full kit, you'll totally receive this die cut. This is a stamping up frame. Um, I believe this is a Studio G stamp. This is the Martha Stewart punches, more Prima flowers and um, Prima pearls. And then you can totally stick a picture in there. And then this, oh my goodness, I didn't even, I'm sorry, I didn't even do my tags. But this is a pocket. This is a pocket, and I know it kind of looks like, um, it ended up looking like Laura Dennison's, um, garden belt page on one of her albums, and I didn't mean for it to come out like that, but it just ended up, um, looking like that. But you can totally, like, cut some tags and stick it back here. Um, this, this strip right here is this here, and it's super pretty. Oops. So I just glued it down, um as a pocket so I put glue here along the bottom and over here and then I, I heard some glue to the back of it and then these are just more Prima flowers so that's the last page and then the back page I just cut um let's see it's just some cream cardstock that I glimmer mist because I don't know about you folks but I totally like cannot I'm such a true hoarder that I cannot bear to cut and waste a page that's just gonna be like the back cover <laughs> so that's my album there and I hope you guys liked it oh my gosh and I also um have this sorry I'm trying to do this one-handed but this is more of the vintage trinkets by um, Marion Smith and I totally like dangled that there <laughs> but I hope you guys like this album oh my god this like, it actually it looks pretty um complicated but surprisingly it took me about two two days and that's not even like two full days so um it's pretty simple and i hope you guys like it so now i'll go ahead and i'll show you um or i'll kind of show you the kits and these will be available for sale on my blog which is creatively chloe at blogspot.com so in the first kit, which will just be the chipboards and the papers, you'll receive five of these chipboard um, pages. And these are with the medium weight chipboard. Um, you'll also receive, let me see, one, two, I believe, okay, you'll receive a total of nine of the pages cut out um, of the butterfly garden collection um, papers cut and it's these guys here and I totally tried to um, like really watch the designs so these are the ones that I chose for my pages that went this way this is the one that I used with the angel um, sticking out of the frame sorry I'm trying to do this one hand Oops is another one this is the doily one and this is my last page so I've, I tried to um, get those where most of the designs were on the left side and then for the back sides of the pages this is one of the designs this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one. So those are the nine papers you'll receive. And then this is just some cream um, cardstock for the last page. You will also receive one of these um, chipboards. And this is the one that I used on my cover. You'll also receive um, one of the papers that I cut to that. And then you'll also receive this chipboard and paper, which I totally didn't end up using on mine, but this is a good size. And I'll also um, have, if you want, um, let me see. Sorry, this is about seven inches. This is maybe about six and a half to six to six and a half inches by seven inches. So this would also be a good size for a mini album. 
So I will also be having um, six of these and six of the papers um, as another chipboard kit if you're interested so that should also be available for sale on my blog but in this kit you'll receive one of these along with the paper and chipboard you'll also receive this size and I use this on one of my pages and this size is let's see this one is about six six inches by five inches so I'll also have um, a kit available with just these chipboards and papers if you want and also in this kit you'll receive this tiny one Psst, sorry so you'll receive one of this chipboard and one of the papers and some of the papers um, for those might vary but I'll try to keep them all the same and also you'll receive um, these pe pieces which are the bodies so, um, and you'll get all the bodies for each of the butterflies. So that'll be um, one of the chipboard kits that I'll have for sale. So again, if you're interested, please check out my blog. Um, I'm going to stop this now and then um, I'm going to show the other kit. Well, you know what? I have to get ready for work. So um, I'll just, I won't show you everything that's in the full kit. But um, just to warn you guys, the full kit will be a lot um, higher in price than most of my kits. But only because, oh my goodness, look at all of this Prima stuff you'll get. You'll get that. You'll get this, which is my totally favorite um, Prima flower right now. You'll get this. You'll get these, a pack of these. A pack of these. Two of these. Um blings and pearls and these are the ones that I used on my album and you'll get these um, vintage trinkets and guys like I'm pretty sure um, I'm not certain about that one but I'm thinking that this one here is totally like sold out and even um, at Prima so you'll get those and I think those are like nine um, Prima goodness so you'll get that um, what I showed you that's going to be in a chipboard kit plus um, all the all the frames and you know trims and everything that I use including these um, in the kit um, I'll do a more detailed video later but like I said I have to get ready for work so that'll also be available for sale on my blog and remember guys I'll only have two of those kits in which um, you'll get everything that I use like down to the T uh, on my album so and then once those two kits are sold I will have um, an alternate kit which has most of the items but um, I know for sure it won't include these vintage trinkets so that'll be um, for a pre-sale so I hope you guys like this and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm sorry I have to hurry up and get ready for work but I'll talk to you guys later bye